I am at Birka Folkhögskola. It's, it's a school I used to work here, actually. It's sort of pre-university. This is sort of semi-high education of music. Uh, it was a long time ago I was here, but now I'm going to rehearse. I'm going to rehearse with my brother for a project he's doing. And strangely enough, I'm going to be the bass player. What are we going to do here? Uh, hopefully make success with a trio. Um, in the restaurant Tiki, and we uh, a soft, soft gig with an uh, acoustic setting, um, acoustic guitar, drums, and the bass. Yeah, why? Uh, hopefully to make a reoccurring thing in this new establishment. Uh, the people, the, the customers, are not used to have entertainment now after the Corona period. Do you have played like solo entertainer here yeah, before? For, for 10 weeks. For 10 weeks? Yeah. And then now with the band? Yes. Do you normally play with the band? No. This is actually the first time uh, I have been in a band on occasions, but as to gather an own band, this is the first time. Rather nice rehearsal room, I must say. On the day of the performance, my brother had already set up the PA system. So we just rigged our instruments and microphones and such, and I did some tweaking on the mixing console to get a good sound. Did I hear you correctly? Is this the first time you are playing live with this drum kit? Yes, indeed it is. Every drum is the first time. You were playing a lot, like 15 years ago, but you haven't played so much last years. Is that true? Uh, I have played, uh, no, since I got kids I haven't played so much, but but I've played a little bit at yeah. least. But most rock, <coughs> rock and roll. Cool. Yep, yep. Then we went to my studio to rehearse a bit, and I just set up a small simple solution so that we could rehearse in my drum room. A small sort of PA system with a mixing console, a couple of microphones, and we tried to not play so loud that it would hurt our ears. If you like these kind of videos, behind the scenes stuff, please press like on the video and it would also help me a lot if you subscribed. And if there's something else you want to see on my channel, please leave it in the comment down below. Thank you.
Kalle, yeah. the drummer. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel good. Yeah. I'm very, very nervous tonight. Nervous? Why? No, I'm just kidding. Not, not that nervous. But you haven't. Feels good. You haven't played for an audience for a long in a long time. It's been a while, actually. Yeah. I can't really remember when the last time was. Maybe a year ago. A year like ago. That. Yeah. The place where we're going to perform is multi-challenge, mainly for kids, maybe, but we were all kids in this place. It's uh, pool tables, go-kart uh, field, uh, playgrounds for kids, uh, a bowling alley, all kinds of stuff. After gig, how, how do you feel? Relieved, uh, a bit proud, have a... I made it, it feels like I made it. Uh, it's been a... It's been a, a big step for me to take this leap and do something on my own. Cool. Uh, did everything work as you... as it was... as you imagined it to work? Um, just about. Uh, of course, everyone makes mis mistakes. It's how the audience noticed them. But uh, my mistakes, I didn't think that anyone noticed them. Um, so that's one thing I need to focus on my own performance. What is the biggest thing you think you learn on this uh, gig? To have confidence in myself and believe in myself and uh, try to be calm about my own knowledge. Um, it's easy to doubt yourself in these times, but that's the biggest step for me. Like imposter syndrome. Yeah. In a sort of background entertainment gig like this was, what do you think is the most important thing to think about? For me, the most important thing is not what you do while you play, while you're playing. You have a good product. Believe in your product. Believe in your capacity to entertain while you're singing. The hardest part is when you're not singing. Between the songs, to get the audience involved and, and have the grasp of the audience. You don't want to take over, but you still want their attention. Yeah, I want them. I want. If I say something, I want their, their reaction. And I have to build that, and that's hard to do for me. Thank you so much for watching. Watching in Swedish is tittar. Tittar. Until next time, Roger that.